Okay, so in this video, we will continue our discussion on variables. And now we move on to the next step. We try to form expressions using variables. Now, first of all, what do we mean by expressions? Well, an expression is something which involves numbers and the basic mathematical operations. And typically there are, I mean, in our current context, we can think of two types of expressions, arithmetic expressions and algebraic expressions. So now what is the difference between these two? And that is what we are going to explore in more detail in this video. So what are arithmetic expressions? Let me just read it out for you. So these arithmetic expressions are formed from numbers only. And when I say numbers only, it is fixed numbers. Okay, and then they use the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So, when we have some numbers involving the operations, these four basic mathematical operations, we get an arithmetic expression. So, for example, if I would were to give you an example, it would be something like 4 plus 3 minus 5 multiplied by 2. Now, this is an example of an arithmetic expression. And you can see that all the numbers that are used are fixed numbers. Now, contrast that to an algebraic expression, which is what we are going to study here right now. So, what are these algebraic expressions? Now, I mean, you know that the basic difference between arithmetic and algebra is the use of variable in algebra. And therefore, the algebraic expressions are formed from variables and or numbers using the four basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And why do I say that we form, they are, the algebraic expressions are formed using variables and or numbers? It means that you may have fixed numbers in your algebraic expressions or you may not have them. It is okay, but variables must be there in that expression for it to qualify as an algebraic expression or that, that is a key difference between an arithmetic and an algebraic expression. And just a reminder that variables are nothing but numbers that can take different values. So now in order to clarify the difference between arithmetic and algebraic expressions, we will just try to go through the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and mix operations for both arithmetic and algebraic. Now let us start with the addition. So what arithmetic expressions can I have for addition? So we will just limit ourselves to the whole numbers to keep things simple. So the examples that I will give will just concern or we use the whole numbers and no integers are used. So we can, so if I want to come up with arithmetic expressions, I can write 5 plus 10 this is an arithmetic expression. We have 99 plus 99 plus 1. This is an arithmetic expression. Then we also have 100 plus 20 plus 100 plus 100. This is an arithmetic expression. Now, how does an algebraic expression involving addition look like? So, in that case, we can write, let us say, C plus 100. See, this is an algebraic expression. Or we can write um, D plus A. So you can see that these are, these are nothing but just two variables. Or we can write uh, Q plus M plus N. Addition of three variables. Or I can also write as 119 plus B plus A plus 0. As you can see that this is an algebra. So you see the difference between the algebraic and arithmetic expression. Now let us take example of subtraction. We can go on similar. We can write 10 minus 5. We can write 8 minus 2 minus 1. We can also write 100 minus 100. We can write 99 minus 9. These are all examples of arithmetic expressions using Subtraction, that is subtraction operation. How will the algebraic expressions look like? So in this case, we can write as A minus B or we can write as D minus A minus C minus B minus F, whatever is it that you can think of. Other one could be 100 minus A 
or a minus 100 minus b you can use something like that as well so these are the examples of algebraic expressions involving the operation of subtraction how does it look like multiplication so multiplication is like 5 times 4 or 3 times 2 or 2 times 2 times 2 or 3 times 2 times 4 these are four examples that we took for arithmetic expressions how does it look like when we take in this the algebraic expression so we can write a multiplied by b 10 a or 20 b or we can also write b into b into b we can also have a into b into c into d so these are algebraic expressions which involve variables and fixed numbers as well how about division similarly we can proceed we can say that for division we can write 10 by 5 we can write 4 by 2 we can write 100 by 10 this is 100 by 10 so these are examples of division and similarly for when when I'm involved in an algebraic expression which involves division okay so what, what what is it that we can write we can write b by a or a by b c by d or we can also use something as c into d by b so this involves multiplication as well as division now if we go for mixed operations that is which involve addition subtraction multiplication and division so we can write 5 into 4 plus 3 minus 2 divided by 5 what if I want to convert this into a algebraic expression I can write this as a into b plus c minus b by a we can write it like this so this is an example that involves a algebraic expression you can also use a constant here like 10 minus 1 by 2 you can do something like that so hope this gives you a clear idea about the arithmetic and algebraic expressions now in the next session we will see about evaluating the expressions and further examples on expressions